on your sheets, it said, like, on the schedule that I'm doing that student-athletes should be exempt from PE, but only varsity, but I'm doing all of them. So make that clear. All right. So, now we're on? No, we're on. Go, Ellie. Ready? Yay. Okay. Every day, a student-athlete goes through a rigorous schedule to complete everything that's necessary. In addition to going to school, a student athlete spends an extra two hours each day after school for practices. Additionally, if there is a game after school, this athlete could not be able to start their homework until 9 p.m. This means that this athlete, who by now is completely exhausted, must stay up until at least midnight to complete everything. Obviously, this student is in great physical shape and is in desperate need for more time in the day. This problem is easily fixed with the simple solution of allowing student athletes to be exempt from PE class during their sports season and be sent to a mandatory study hall instead. Student athletes should be exempt from PE and be sent to a mandatory study hall instead. I strongly believe this for four main reasons. One, the definition of physical fitness directly corresponds with the effects of playing a sport. Two, the risk for student athletes to participate in gym class outweigh the benefits. Three, being a student athlete is extremely stressful and completely time consuming. Trust me, I know. And finally, four, the goals set by our district for gym class are already accomplished by student athletes. Therefore, taking away time for PE class when the athlete could be studying and getting their work done is unnecessary and not beneficial for the athlete. Exemption before breakdown. What I mean by this is, exempt our student athletes from gym class before a physical breakdown of their bodies occur and or an emotional breakdown from stress occurs. Brianna Spector, our student athlete, says, During the basketball season, I felt overwhelmed with all the work, which led to an emotional breakdown. Without exemption, breakdown is inevitable. So that is why I say, exemption before breakdown. There are seven days a week, 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes in one hour, and 60 seconds in one minute. These numbers all represent time. Time is, as defined by the Merriam-Webster's online medical dictionary, the measured or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues, a continuum which lacks feature. Time is, as defined by a student athlete, what there is never enough of and what a student athlete yearns to make more of. Lauren Rothfeld, a student athlete, responds to the idea of having a study hall instead of gym class by saying, I could get my homework done instead of worrying about getting it done at 11 p.m. after my sports. Currently in Pennsylvania, PE is mandated for all grade levels, but the time requirements vary by grade level. According to the Upper Dublin School District's website, the Health and Physical Education Department's job is to promote personal fitness, encourage health literacy, develop decision-making skills, and provide hands-on experience in careers related to athletics. This mission is already completed by student athletes. Brianna Spector, again a student athlete, adds, gym is fun, but not useful. First, the Columbia Encyclopedia defines physical fitness as combining good health with physical development. Additionally, it states that the object of physical fitness is to maximize an individual's health, strength, endurance, and skill relative to age, sex, body build, and physiology. Not only that, but it adds that exercise should be regular and vigorous. If this is the definition of physical fitness, isn't playing a sport physical fitness? After all, playing a sport maximizes the athlete's health, strength, endurance, and skill relative to age, sex, body build, and physiology. Additionally, playing a sport requires regular and vigorous exercise. Therefore, the definition of playing a sport and physical fitness is ultimately accomplished when you're a student athlete. Mr. Topper, the varsity soccer coach for girls, responds to the question, are student athletes physically fit by stating, yes, you've proven yourself to make a team. Mrs. Cross, a physical education teacher, brought up the point that physical education classes teach important things about fitness to students, like what muscles each particular sport works, or how to train for sports. Well, if you're a student athlete, you're already educated by years of experience and coaching about the importance of physical fitness. 84% of students 
that our athletes here at the high school say that they do not learn anything new in gym class, nor does it help them get into better physical shape. Additionally, playing a sport is a serious commitment. So if a student does commit to a sport like soccer, then this student knows that they do not like basketball or say softball as much as soccer. What I mean by this is that when making a decision about what sport to play, you have to be educated about other sports as well. Therefore, our student athlete already is educated. Second, according to the USA Today, on August 4th, 2009, it was shown that injuries during physical education classes have increased by 150% from 1997 to 2007. That's just 10 years. More specifically, there were 4,000 injuries in 1997 and a striking 62,000 in 2007. These numbers are incredibly scary and dangerous. These alarming rates could be because of larger class sizes. Allowing students to be exempt from PE during their sports season would reduce class sizes, thus reducing injuries. Additionally, almost 70% of these injuries happen during running, basketball, football, volleyball, soccer, or gymnastics. These sports are extremely competitive at the high school level, and to risk a star soccer athlete getting injured playing basketball in gym class the day of a soccer match is not beneficial for the school or the athlete. For example, what if the day of a huge track meet, a runner had to run the mile in gym class right before this track meet, draining him or her of their energy. As a result, their time might not as might not be as well as it could have. Additionally, gym class injuries take away from sports team, and the athlete can miss an entire season due to an injury in gym class. Catrice Goff, a student athlete, says, I got scratched in the eye during a gym class and couldn't play in two of my basketball games. Jay Kaiserman, a student athlete, adds, gym class is just another way to get hurt. Student athletes give up their time to represent our school, Upper Dublin, in the best possible light. We should respect this and allow them to be exempt from PE during their sports season. Overall, the risks for student athletes to participate in gym class outweigh the benefits. Third, being a student athlete is extremely stressful and completely time consuming. An alarming 71% of our students here at Upper Dublin that are athletes say that they are stressed out during their sports season. Taking away time from an athlete for PE is unnecessary and not beneficial for the athlete. Each second of the day is treasured and utilized by the student athletes because of the lack of time they feel they have. Every day after school, student athletes have practices for two or more hours, not counting the time it takes to get dressed, drive over to practice, drive home and shower. Also, athletes are held to academic standards, which they must achieve to play their desired sport. Time spent in gym class would be more beneficial if that time was spent studying. As stated earlier, exemption before breakdown. Playing sports is physically demanding and requiring extra energy to participate in gym class could push an athlete off the edge. We need to exempt our athletes from PE before a physical breakdown of their body occurs. Additionally, the tremendous amounts of stress that occur during the sports season for the student athlete is overwhelming. This stress will inevitably lead to a breakdown. This can easily be avoided by providing student athletes an extra 40 minutes to an hour for a study hall as opposed to gym class. Fourth, on the Upper Dublin School District websites, it states that physical education department at Upper Dublin School is dedicated to providing a challenging and varied curriculum 